Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Dazzle That Tarot, and happy Monday. Happy, 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 happy Monday, okay? So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And if you would like to get a private reading, all you have to do is check in the description box, okay? And I am open. I have some slots open, and, you know, I'm ready. You know, I don't have a whole bunch to do this week, so I can catch up on stuff. I might even go live. I'm going to post in my community um, if you guys want me to go live and do some free readings. And what day is a great day that, you know, the people who view my channel will be available. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, honestly, I'm almost monetized, okay? So, I'm pushing it. So, I'm trying to be monetized by my birthday. My birthday is May 21st. I'm a Gemini. If you guys believe in Cuspian energy, I am a Taurus slash Gemini, okay? So, <laughs> I can't wait till my birthday and find Fun fact, me and my dad share the same birthday. I was his gift. <laughs> but anywho, let's get into it. Before I even start anything, we all know what I have to do here. I have to tell you that all this is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. And so modern science can come up with a mathematical equation to let you know that the spirit world exists. If I can go to court with a deck of tarot cards, sit in front of a judge and read, and he take it as fact, then that's how you know we've been accepted, okay? The metaphysical is going to be accepted, right? So, anywho... Let's get into it. So, I have made a post last week, right? Because i seen how Joe Button, Joe Button, you know what I'm saying, was basically referencing, well, comparing the Magnus Stallion and Tory Lane's incident um, to Chad Ochocinco and Evelyn Lozada's domestic incident, okay? And... It just so happens, the funniest thing about this, it's not funny because that's serious, but here's the thing, right? The universe doubles back and slap people in the face all the time. Now, his karma was that Tahiri came out and was like, well, what about our DV incident? And you know... I don't have pictures, but I guarantee you his ex-girlfriends do. And so, basically, like, Tahiri and Evelyn basically, you know, came at him. Like, how dare you? And I kind of find it interesting that this is the same man who is um, taking up for Tory Lanez. Now, here's my issue. I'm not doing a reading on the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez incident per se, until after the court date, because I had to realize this, and this is me letting go of control. The problem is, people are going to believe what they want to believe, okay? At the end of the day, they're going to believe what they want to. It doesn't matter what happens to you. If people don't want to believe it, they're not going to believe it, okay? So, it's evident that she was injured because of someone mishandling a firearm, right? So, at the end of the day, she's a victim in that way. Now, I don't care if she's lying about who she had sex with or who she didn't have sex with, okay? That's besides the point. Is she not still a victim based on someone's misuse of a firearm? But see, you guys are going to believe what you want to believe and not of anything... I can't tell you nothing because here's the thing um i realized as a tarot reader on youtube it's not about the truth it's about what your subscribers want to hear because the truth is a little bit different then was she in the wrong in some instances yes were they all drinking yes but nothing of what happened should have led to tory lanes or anyone else in acting, you know what I'm saying, tapping into the inner Yosemite Sam, like dance, be dance. Nobody should be doing that. That is violence against a woman. 
Now, it's hard to believe when it comes from someone who doesn't want to tell the truth about her three-way relationship. But at the same token, she's still a victim. Okay, so based on that, I can't read for no, I can't read on somebody and people only want to see, oh, well, she's lying about this or she's lying about that. Okay, so, but she's not lying about being a victim. Okay? Um, I remember I used to watch, like, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, and it was an episode, because I'm going to get into the, um, Joe Button thing. It was an episode about this girl, and she goes to a party. Now, mind you, she's a good time girl. You can call her Heidi. She's in college. You know, she gets drunk, and, you know, she makes out, and she, you know answers the, the sexual advances of men. I'll just say that, right? So, basically, she did that at a party. But then after the fact, you know, there was some other guys at the party. And they, this is sexual advances that she did not want. So, they decided because she would not do anything with them, that they will take it in their own hands and force themselves on her. Knowing that she was inebriated, you know what I'm saying? Like, all those type of things. So, now at the um, ER and everything, you know, she's saying that she was assaulted. But she didn't talk about the fact that she was messing around with different guys earlier that day at the party. So... When they're trying to figure out what's going on, everyone's calling her a good time girl. I'm saying it the nice way. And everyone's saying that she deserved it because she should never put herself out there like that. But however, by the end of it, we realized that she was, in fact, taken advantage of by the end of the night and did have someone do, well, not just one, do something to her against her will. And it was a video. So, for the whole time, people were calling her a liar and, oh, you're just trying to get somebody in trouble and things like that. But at the end of the day, by the end of the night, she was a victim. But it's all about what you want to believe, right? If you want to call her evil and a messed up person that don't take accountability, fine. If you want to call Tory Lanez that, fine. But to me, all I'm wrong, and at the end of the day, she did become a victim by a man. Or whatever. Whatever you want to think. But that's why I'm not doing a um, reading on her in that particular situation anymore. Until after the court date. But what I will do is talk about Joe Button. Right? So here's the funny thing about Joe Button. Joe Button decided that he was going to talk about it. And what I want to do is I want to talk about like him and Tahiri's relationship. Tahiri said that he domestically abused her. So I want to know, was there an incident where Joe Button put his hands on Tahiri? And I don't want to care. I don't care about no spicy Latina. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to say. That don't mean that you monkey stomp somebody. You know. A spicy Latina. You know how they get. <laughs> but anyway. But did Joe Budden put his hands on Tahiri? Like she said he did. One. Two. Three. Oh, the Harrison card in the reverse comes up. Something inappropriate happened. Okay. Something that's outside normal structure is not normal to hurt somebody. The hermit in the reverse, not listening to wisdom, coming out of isolation, but not listening to wisdom. You know what wisdom is? Wisdom is supposed to come with age, too. Okay? But wisdom is learning from your experiences and understanding why it happened, um, understanding the after effects of it. 
and pretty much getting a deeper understanding of the whole thing, right? So wisdom was not in this situation. So this is somebody who knows better, but doesn't do better in that area. <laughs> okay. And Joe Button is a is a smart guy. So it's like you know better. It's like you know fire is hot. You know the stove is hot. But Joe Button has to touched the stove anyway. You know. Okay, so the two of swords in the reverse. This is making a decision. This is clarity and making a decision, right? Because the two of swords upright talks about being on the fence. So, hmm. And not being able to go which way or another. But this right here is a way of thinking. This is a choice. And the seven of cups is in the reverse. This is clarity. Okay? The seven of cups is in the, in the, in the reverse. That's making a choice. Okay? So, and then the last one is the Empress upright in the back. Uh, I don't think Tahiri's lying. The Empress upright isn't considered a lying liar this is a this is a nurturing person this is a this is a abundant person a fertile person um a loving person i believe that's what she was in that relationship was she the best all the time no because nobody's always good um but she was okay you know what i'm saying so i kind of feel like something inappropriate did happen Someone did not use wisdom. It, it was a choice. Okay. So. He made a choice. To put his hands on her. Okay. There was a choice. And I kind of think. I don't know. If things happen while drunk. See that's another thing. And that's why when you have things that's in it, like drinking, substance abuse, whatever, you know, you tend to make poor decisions. It was a poor, I'm going to say it was a poor decision on Joe Button part to do that to Tahiri. Yes, that happened. Okay. So then I'm going to ask, even though Joe Button has had his own DV experience, right? Why? And you would think that you would use wisdom and be like okay well this can actually happen why is he against Megan the Stallion no 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 why is he siding with Tory Lanez why is Joe Button siding with Tory Lanez in this situation why is he doing that one two three you have the eight of pentacles in the reverse that comes out right along do you know what the eight of pentacles is the Eight of Pentacles upright talks about working towards your goal, what you want, like a hobby. Like, like you're really working on your hobby, you're working on your craft and stuff, and it pays off over time, right? And it's because of hard work. In the reverse, this is actually trying to get this payoff, but going about it in a shady way, okay? So, yes, he's going about being on Tory Lane's side in a shady way, like in some type of shady way, but money is involved, okay? The Six of Pentacles is in the reverse. This talks about someone who is selfish, someone who takes away opportunities. Someone, you know, who does not give. It can be debt. It can be things like that. Okay. The seven of swords is in the reverse. This is someone, um, this is secrets being revealed or shady behaviors being revealed. Okay. But these are apologies as well. An apology has to be made because someone feels, someone feels guilty. So they need to apologize about some things, right? Someone feels guilty. And then it's the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is when an offer of stability, security, and wealth slowly but surely comes in. Okay. So you have somebody getting this is all about money. Okay, this is financial, right? So this is all about someone getting money or, or reaching their goal success in a shy in a shysty way this also talks about someone being selfish 
someone being self-serving, okay? Because they feel like they need money, okay? Also, this talks about somebody whose secrets get revealed or wanting to apologize about some things, okay? And this is someone who has an offer that's coming in. But this back of the deck energy, this full ones in the reverse, this talks about the um, in-house, all right? So this talks about cracks in the foundation in-house, all right? But it's not necessarily a bad card. It's that the, it's really that you need to um, re-fortify the foundation or, like, fix what's going on in-house. And it's fixable. What's going on is like travel of communication. Communication coming quick, right? Sudden change. Then you have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who bets wrong. Alright? Or somebody who makes bad investments. That's what's going on. And then it's the Empress. Again, the Empress shows up again, the outcome. Okay, so then I'm gonna tell you this. He's betting wrong. But, because that's the problem. He's not on the right side, per se. But I kind of feel like it's all for money. Do I feel like he is going to apologize? Or it is something that's going to get revealed to make him apologize about something? Yes. Um, but, however, I think that he feels like he's betting right because he has some information about Megan and Stallion. But, again... I wonder, did, Tori, did he know Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion? Did he know that? Does he know Megan Thee Stallion was indeed shot before that information came out? Did he know that? Because I think it's like betting on the wrong horse. Mm. Or something about getting money. I wonder if Tory Lane's even paid him. Let's see. Does he know that Magnus Stallion was indeed injured by a by the misuse of a firearm? Did he know that before it came out to the public? One, two, three, four, five. Did Joe Button really know that Magnus Stallion was injured by because someone misused a firearm before the public found out? The Two of Pentacles talks about juggling two coins. So this is about trying to juggle money. Right? The death card is in reverse. This talks about not being able to go from one, not being able to transition. Okay? So being stuck in one place. That means that there's something that needs to happen to be able, for you to be able to transition on to the next. Right? And the ace of Pentacles comes up. Oh, this is money. <laughs> oh, and then it's the Knight of Wands. Pursuit of a creative venture. You know what? I'm going to tell you this. He got paid to say it. <laughs> And no, he didn't know. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Okay, he didn't know how that lawsuit was going to go. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, that talks about a, law, a long, drawn-out, serious lawsuit. Okay? But it also talks about the loss of generational wealth. The loss of money. Okay? It's not there. There is no... There is no... Um, 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 the complete stability, security, and wealth. So, to be honest with you, he's doing this for money. He's doing this for attention. He's doing this for money. Of course, he's doing it for attention because, well, he has a podcast. He has a platform. He's doing it for money because, you know what? It is, you get paid these days. Like, I can guarantee you, I can make a platform just saying how much Megan Thee Stallion is a liar, this, that, and the third. And people believe me. And I'll get like a thousand subscribers overnight probably. You know, all these views, right? Because it's a hate train thing. But I kind of feel like there's something dealing with money. A coin. A straight up coin, right? Joe Button was trying to balance a coin. It was trying to get stable. And you know what? For a time with this... um. 
death card in the reverse. He couldn't get there. But then someone gives me an offer. Now we can do it. So it's not even about if he knew. It's about what he gets paid for. And ooh, let's see. So let's just reiterate that. Is your button getting paid to side with Tory Lane? One, two, three. One. Ooh, shoot. All that wanted to come out, y'all. All of that mess wanted to come out. Alright, so is it getting paid to side with Story Lane? Is Joe Button getting paid to side with Story Lane? One, two, the Three of Swords is in the reverse. Okay, the Three of Swords in the reverse talks about past betrayal, past trauma, past hurt, past pain, separation, distance, third party situations. Okay, but it's in the reverse. So this talks about all oh, that's over, right? I'm not saying that things will be the same afterwards, but it's over, so now it's time to heal. So it was past betrayal. Okay? The Hangman is a period of stagnation in a way it's a period of reflection of trying to yield to the universe and see both sides <clears throat> the eight of cups is in the reverse needing to walk away from a situation that does not serve you emotionally but you stay there because you find value in it okay but you need to leave from that situation and the three of cups is in the reverse. Now, this is overindulgent behaviors. This is supposed to be a party, a celebration. and uh -uh, It's serious, right? But it also talks about third parties. It also talks about um, gossiping. It also talks about anything that happens to you now is self-induced because of your overindulgent behaviors. Okay? So... In my egg scene, I asked, did he get paid? You know, that three of swords in the reverse, that's betrayal in the past. So, did he, did he side with somebody? And, you know, clarify the three of swords about, in the reverse, about if Joe Budden got paid. Clarify. One, two, Three of Pentacles. Okay, third party. All coming together. Putting their grand support. Okay, Joe Button got paid in the past. Okay. He did. The side with Tory Lanez. Okay. And he put in his grand support. But then it was a betrayal. Because he didn't know everything. So now he's getting looked at crazy. And now to hear he's coming out saying stuff about domestic violence. Yeah, okay, so now he's over that. So now he has to look at things from a different point of view because what I, he, honestly, I'm going to tell you, he didn't know that Tory Lanez or, or Firearm, period, was indeed factually misused in this situation. And there was fragments in her foot and there still is fragments in her foot. And for those in the background that don't know what fragments are, fragments is not pieces of glass. Fragments is pieces of, of metal. Okay? Um, but now he has to look at things from a different point of view. And to be honest, he could have just left well enough alone, but he didn't. And he wanted to stick by this situation that does not serve him. Right? Because then it makes him look crazy on certain levels. And this is why I'm having this reading right now. Okay? So, the third cost is in the reverse. He's in a situation right now. He's in this position right now because of overindulgent behaviors. Okay? And there was a third party that came in and gave him some money. Okay? That's why he's doing what he's doing now. Now, it's not even about if Tori... He and his heart is a heart. It's not even about if Tory Lanez is innocent or not no more. He's just in a bucket now. He got to stand by what he say. Period. That's what it is. So now it's just gossip. Okay. And the two cups is in the back. 
okay? If I ask the Tory Lanez, I mean, I ask, did Joe Button get paid to do this? To be honest with you, he was in cahoots with somebody. He had a partnership with somebody. And he felt betrayed at the end of it. Okay? So, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Y'all people be, y'all be really out here. Y'all really be out here. <clears throat> How is Joe Budden going to feel by the end of this court case? And then I'm going to ask, is Joe Budden going to get in trouble for what he has done to people? Are we going to hear more about what he has done to people? Mm -hmm. Me Too movement. Probably some grifters. <laughs> but how is Joe Budden going to feel about this situation by the end of it? Is he going to... Oh, this is clarity about the Queen of Wands, right? So I kind of feel like there's going to be a new conversation about this Queen of Wands. He's not going to be that hot and talking mess, that much mess about her no more. Ooh. How is he going to feel by the end of this court case about Megan? Is he going to be going hard at Megan like that after this court case? One, two, three. The King of Cups. Oh, he's gonna be understanding. He's gonna he's gonna have a mature emotional approach. He's gonna have good advice. He's going to be giving. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. So what about his experiences with the female sex? Okay. So it's um are we going to have more incidents, incidences of DV coming from Joe Button? Are we going to hear anything else about Joe Button putting his hands on females? One, two, three. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's working towards something. So it's some stuff. And after a while, it's going to pay off. So I feel like there's going to be a female, a strong-willed female that's working towards exposing him with stuff. Okay? But that's what I got for y'all. I got to go. I got to put on my work stuff, my work equipment, and head to work. But I want y'all to be real careful about who y'all follow because the fact of the matter is, if you really want to know somebody and like I said it in the post, you really want to know how someone is? Look at the people that wants to be associated with them. That's associated with them. Joe Budden is talking about defending him, and yet and still, he got some things he needs to answer to when it comes to DV. How can you talk about DV or you talk about violence against women and you yourself has committed violence against women? Y'all yeah, funny. <laughs> The internet is funny, 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 funny. Okay, so, anywho, I love y'all for real peace. And like I said, that's why I'm not doing it on her no more so after the court case. Because y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe anyway. Y'all believe people who like to hit on females. Y'all wanna side with that person yet and still. Uh, anywho, peace. <laughs>